Hey everybody, welcome to Wrecking Crew. This is Rusty. This is Heath. And we are here with some Star Wars Battlefront. We are playing, what is this game called? Give me a game now? Heroes vs. Villains. Heroes vs. Villains. I was pretty sure that's what it was. I just didn't want to say it wrong. And uh, Caleb is on the controls today, but he is very focused. He is laser precision focused on this game. So he will say very little, if, if anything. So that's just the way he games. And that's fine. I'm just glad that he actually is finally... Like, we've played Smash Bros. with Caleb. Maybe people don't know that. That's who the third player is a lot of times with me and Heath. And, um... He's usually dad on the, on the yeah, Smash Yeah, he likes it. He thinks it's funny to play his dad because that's the one I play as with my kids. And he thinks he's our dad in case I'm going to smash or whatever. I don't know. He's got this god <laughs> complex about him. But that's why... That, I think that's why he don't like to talk either. He's like the silent protagonist from video games. You know what I mean? Like Link. From the Legend of Zelda, the silent protagonist, yeah. right here, is playing the game for us. So, and he's gonna play as Luke Skywalker. Well, Skywalker <laughs> the next round. What do you know? There we go. That's exactly. He is the hero character. Here we yeah. go. All right. Sorry, don't mean, I don't mean to like feed you up too much. I don't wanna, don't wanna get everyone's expectations up. But I'm excited to see this right here happening. And uh, they actually have the, they have. All right, so they have two more heroes now. Sorry, but. Uh, yeah. There's two more heroes now, and Rusty can pronounce one better than I can, and the other one is Greedo, which they didn't have initially, but now they do. Greedo. Who am I trying to pronounce here? Uh, the, the, the one for the Rebels. The the new hero. You know, the fucking squid one. The squid Oh, guy. yeah. Nanyub. Nanyub. Yeah. Ninyub, Nanyub, Nanyub. Pretty sure. Oh, shit. But, yeah. Uh, the new one for the Rebels. Vader. Uh, no one is Nanyub right now, though. He's the... He, it, uh, on the very left, the top left out of all the hero characters, oh, he, has a, he has an X over his face. Vader's getting fucked up. He is just taking unrelenting So, as I, as I wasted time talking about Nynub, uh we just saw Luke Skywalker take down Darth Vader. So, as you can see, we have the her hero character here playing with, with Luke Skywalker. And if you're not, uh, if oh, you're not fucking Greedo, Greedo is dead, dead as shit. If you're not well versed in um, in Star Wars Battlefront, this is what it's like to play with a hero characters, or at least one of them. Well, yeah, each one has their own ability, but um, who doesn't want a lightsaber? You know what I mean? Who doesn't want to play with Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader? Dude, Caleb just fucking annihilated. F T Dub. Three for the heroes. win. That's what I'm talking about. I told you, Caleb is laser focused. He doesn't need to speak. He just kills. Just kills. He just kills. He killed. Did you kill all of the heroes? No. He's like I missed one. Some dude stole my kill. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, some, some guy mooched, right. mooched on him when he was fucking <laughs> up later. No, he's like uh, Snake Eyes from GI Joe. Dude, that was he. That was okay. I'm gonna say right now. I am not that bad. I'm not that good at this game. That was impressive. That was really nice. So, did you ever watch the the GI Joe cartoon? Uh, a little bit. Is did you watch the GI Joe cartoon? Fuck yeah, dude. That that was my shit. I loved. I like. I worshipped. It's Snake. so old though. For like six years of my life, I worshipped uh, Snake Eyes. You're like he's like okay. the coolest character of all fucking time. You're like a decade younger than me. Well, it's not even a joke. You're like a decade younger than me. And like, oh, well, like most like people... Half a decade. Eight years. Oh, forget that you're, you're 28, not 26. <laughs> you're like that. a decade younger than me. And most people who are a decade older than me love the G.I. Joe cartoon. So really, I kind of didn't... It didn't really even play in reruns when I was a kid. I, I, I never really had access to it. I don't know, maybe I would have liked it. But no, I was never really a huge G.I. Joe fan. So... But it's funny that you like it, being so much younger. I just I didn't know that that demographic existed for younger than me GI Joe fans. Well, that's just like you know I love ACDC and fucking well yeah Breakfast I, I, Fist Club. And I'm just that's true. I I don't try to I'm not trying to like paint millennials into a corner right, here, right. but <laughs> no. If you, I'm sorry, are bastards. I'm millennials. sorry if you don't like being called a millennial. And or of that age, yeah. Heath was getting ready to say something about yeah. it. Go ahead, Heath. The the typical the the stereotypical millennial, they're pieces of shit. I I hate I hate my generation. Oh God, 
here come the dislikes. Yeah. <laughs> I I seriously hate like true millennials. Like I I am, you know they can't thumb thumb you down on on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, maybe okay. maybe this will turn into like one of those Rebecca Black Friday. If it gets to that point. I just want to say thank you, Heath, for being such a fucking asshole. <laughs> You're so welcome. I listen. I'll be very passive about a lot of. If we're ever that viral, I will literally jizz <laughs> in my pants. So, but no, I, uh, I I'm pretty passive about a lot of things. Like I don't I don't state my opinion too terribly strongly Get him! about yes! a lot of things. Yes. Fuck no. Sorry. Go ahead, Heath. <laughs> But I fucking hate a large portion of my generation. Not the majority, but a very large portion. I just absolutely despise them. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what. I'm a 90s kid. I grew up in the early 2000s, sure, I guess. I was born in 1988. If that makes you... If you think I'm old because I was born in 88, well, you know, that's... I can't help it. That's just... Age is just a number. Oh. I'm still plenty hip and funny. And, you know, if you think I'm young, if you think I'm young because I was born in 88, well, thank you. You know, uh, bless me. My youth brings me the great ignorance that I you can all think that I have. But anyways, I don't even remember what my point was. What was I even talking about, Heath? Uh, millennials. Oh, yes, millennials. Um, you know, my generation, I grew up, I'm a 90s kid. You said something about hating a most of the portion of generation 90s ish kids i would say probably that's like instilled into every one of our like everyone who's from a generation before me probably a little bit i'm a little bit of an old soul uh you know i i uh i generally uh skew about five years older than my actual age when it comes to my interest in demographics uh when i look at different things that people are interested in so I would just like to say that people from what I call my generation, which is a slightly older than generation than my actual own, but maybe a lot from my generation actually uh, identify with it as well, which I believe is probably true. Um, but we all have that feeling of, like, it's 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 weird to say because how could a majority of the uh, of the population of a generation feel this way? But I think a major uh, like most of the people from that generation sort of feel like I hate the majority of my generation. Like, that's just the way that we all felt. Then. And I don't know if maybe millennials are sharing in that, and maybe throughout the years we will find with nostalgia that's the truth. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, well, I guess... To be continued. Yeah, to be continued. In fucking 15 years, if we're still making these videos, we'll reflect on this. Continue? <laughs> continue? And I'll tell you, if... In 15 years of continue, is still making fucking YouTube videos, uh, and I haven't met Paul Ritchie yet, and I'm still making YouTube videos. Everyone needs to dislike all my videos and tell me to stop. <laughs> so, if I really stick with it that long, and I don't get at least famous enough to meet Paul Ritchie of continue, I don't deserve to be alive. I I want to meet Ross more than anybody from Game Grumps. Ross, yeah, yeah. I, I want to meet Ross. Um, my bad. You know, if I could meet anyone, it would definitely be Dan from Game Grumps. But uh, Paul from Continue would be would be up there. Actually, John Tron would be, oh, would yeah. be on my list for sure. I'd actually, I'd kind with of with another girl. If I ever got the opportunity, get Vader, to be, yeah, to be friends with John Tron. Yeah! Choked pretty, the life out of us. Oh I'm, my god! I'm pretty sure I would just abuse the relationship and just like have him sing Firework all the time. That that would be me. He I, wouldn't, dude. He would hate you. You you would be one of those fans that he's just like. Ugh. No, I meant like if I oh was, if I was ever actually his close friend, like if I. Oh my god, this guy. If yeah, he, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you try to get him to sing Firework all the time, I don't think you would get into that close friend <laughs> relationship with John Tron. I like. If his, no one knows what we're talking about, I'm very sorry. Go ahead and look up John Tron on YouTube if you like gaming videos. He's a very funny guy. Give him some support. Uh, we're in no way in, in affiliation with him, obviously. We are small potatoes, as I like to call it. I don't ever call it that. But, um, but yeah, go ahead and, and uh, give him some likes. Tell, tell John Tron, if you go look at John Tron, tell him, Wrecking Crew Games sit you there. Everyone, I want droves of people to tell John Tron about us. Droves. A plethora. A plethora of people need to tell 
Jontron about wrecking crew games. Hordes. Hordes. Um, Masses. Uh, uh, schools. Schools? Yeah, like that. That's what gaggles. That's that's what fish. That's what a group of fish are. So I say gaggles. A gaggle of geese. Yeah. A flock. I want you to flock. I want murders of people. Murders. There you go. Because uh, it's a murder of crows, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. That is correct. What is a group of kangaroos? Is that a pack or is that a? Do they? They don't. They don't. I know they don't travel in packs. But what's like the? A large community of kangaroo. What, uh, what would that be called? I believe it's uh, crikey mates. Uh, I I think that's Corky accurate. Mates. I think that's accurate. Crikey mates. Just kidding. But. It's uh, <laughs> you know I heard. Well, you know what I heard? Uh, small traces of kangaroo can be found in every can of Vegemite. What? Small traces of kangaroo. Uh, no, I, I I heard you physically. Just I'm astounded more than anything. That is a complete lie. So, uh, if anyone in Australia ever sees this, tell us how much you love Vegemite. Is Vegemite really that good? You know, tell us. I want people in Australia to watch this and tell us all about Vegemite. How good is Vegemite? And you know what? How fucking much do you guys love Hugh Jackman? For Look, real. There's Nanyub. Nanyub. Yeah, fuck Nanyub. Look at his little fucking Halloween mask. Anyone, yeah, fucking... anyone who's interested in Nanyub, you just got to see his, uh, his fucking... His fucking Sharpe uh, <laughs> dog flaps on his face. Is that a Sharpe dog, right? Uh, the type of dog with the with the rolls. With the, with the rolls, I think so. I think that's right. If you if you know what a Sharpe is, leave a comment below. And let us know. My, Jesus. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm I'm not very good with dog breed names. Like I, I, you know, you know what I mean. Like there are the obvious ones, and then outside of the really obvious ones, I just I don't know anything. I'm totally oblivious to like and same with same with cats like I, I don't know I don't know like I, I just I just can't name any of them like I, if you put a cat Siamese? in front of me, I, yeah like the obvious ones I mean like I know them I know Siamese cats and I know uh, the fucking Persian cats or whatever yeah but um but like you put a random you know any given fucking cat in front of me and I, I couldn't even make an educated guess, you know what I mean? And it's it's kind a of the kitty. Same. Kitty, like E-H. Yeah, <laughs> K-I-T-T-E-H. So really what the funny thing is, is Heath does not know uh, does not know about uh, dog breeds and stuff. And we play a lot of video games together and stuff, but he doesn't know, actually. I'm a dog breeder, and um, I, I actually have done a lot of the famous, uh, a lot of the famous... Breeds where they crossbreed, nice. like the labradoodles and yes. stuff. I started that labradoodle. I breeded those first. You oh, know, I the actually very first one. To breed I, I, I was the labradoodle guy, and uh, you know, I actually one time I actually successfully breeded a uh, pit, pit bull and a Shih Tzu. They called it a bullshit. He winked at me. <laughs> he, As I wink at he. He fucking <laughs> winked at me. So if you don't get the uh, context of that joke. I'm sorry. But it's just all bullshit. So. <laughs> it's total bullshit. Definitely is. It was definitely worth the fucking 25 seconds of dick to tell. But set up and tell that joke and get to the punchline. If you didn't laugh, you know what? I don't blame you. <laughs> you probably didn't get it. What's that You're... line off of uh, Role Models? You can't, you can't bullshit a bullshitter? Or you thought it was cheesy. Uh, I'm actually not even that first in role models. So. Dude, are you serious? That's like that's one of my favorite comedies ever. I saw I it once or twice. It. It's got Stifler and uh, Sean William Scott, man. He's, Michael Bluth, I know. He's so. fucking hilarious. He's so funny. Like say, like in the rundown, dude. The rundown. Stifler and Michael Bluth. I want to say Sean William Scott and Jason Bateman. For anyone who doesn't know. That's just two of their really famous characters. Go ahead, Heath. Dude, you just fucked up Vade Dog, I'm pretty sure. Um, You're talking about the rundown. Yeah, the rundown. Dude, I... I is that the one with the, the, the rock. Dwayne, the Rock yes, Johnson? That's, that is the one with Dwayne. I was just about to talk about how, even though I don't like him very much... Time out. Okay. Heath is going to get to his point in a second. So, if you like Dwayne, the Rock Johnson, maybe you'll like another one of our videos. Don't forget to check out our Battletoads playthrough. Oh, whenever, yeah, we did talk about Dwayne. Yeah. Whenever uh, Pimple 
uh, in Battletoads gets to, uh, when you get to a certain level, he gets turned into a rock and just wrecked people, because we are known to wrecked and get wrecked. So, um, anyways, Dwayne The Rock Johnson segue into, uh, don't forget to like our videos, look at our channel. Uh, go ahead, Heath. Even though I don't like, even though I, even though I don't like <laughs> Lane, the, Lane the Doc Ronson, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, even though I don't like him, that is a fucking hilarious movie. When he gets the shit beat at him by that little fucking, that little Tarzan pirate son of a bitch. That, I, that is, I've dealt with that. I don't know if I've saw the run though. Really? I, yeah. They're like, they're in some like canyon or mining place way out in BFE and, uh, Christopher Walken, Christopher Walken, uh, Walken in a Wonder Wonderland. Um, he is like the, the main antagonist and he, it's, uh, the plot kind of is fading in and out, but basically he doesn't like, um, Sean William Scott. Sean William Scott keeps trying to find this treasure. The rock is sent to find Sean William Scott also. So the rock and, um, um, what's his name on, uh, what, what do they call him on Joe Dirt? What's his name? Do you remember? I was trying to make that reference, but I totally forgot what he's, what he's called. Christopher Walken. Who is Christopher Walken on Joe Dirt? Dude, I'm not sure. But um, go ahead with your point. But anyway, Christopher Walken and The Rock quarrel, and then somehow Sean William Scott wiggle, wiggles his way you know, out of trouble. It's, it's fucking hilarious. You got to watch it sometime. You have to. Have you saw that movie? Leave a comment below. Let us know. To me, it sounds like the reason why I never watched it because it just looked like to me, oh, generic buddy action movie. I don't know. It just never looked that good to me. If you like that movie, leave a, leave a comment. Let us know you like that movie. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Look for us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. And uh, if you like that movie, give Heath some love in the comments. Let yeah, him know. Yeah. Let and him know. Because I pretty much just gave him the cold shoulder. I have no idea what he's talking about. Before but, we end the video, we just have to pay tribute to the fact that Caleb just fucked all the villains up. Yeah, he, Caleb played really well. Our silent protagonist just played so well right here. So, uh, if you like that, if you like watching people actually play the game well and do well on these type of videos. Hulk smash that like button. Don't forget to uh, give Caleb some love. Tweet at him. He's on the Twitzers somewhere, probably. Good luck finding him. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Look at us on Facebook, Twitter. Share our videos with your fucking to your grandma. Let us let the entire world know that you're the hugest Wrecking Crew fan, or you know, just your select group of friends, or a mild friend, or yeah. Friends. I mean, just share our videos. How hard is it to share a video? Really, you know. It's just a few, it's a few clicks. Two. It's two. Unless you want to write. Good night. Peace.